are investigating another shooting this morning. The victim, a teenager, apparently was being chased at some point in all this. News 8's Kent Pierce covering the latest. He joins us now live from New Haven. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Chris and Chris. And as the sun comes up this morning, we're able to see police still on the scene. One cruiser guarding the scene of this shooting. There is a bullet hole in the window of Cecilia's Deli back there and a big pool of blood in the middle of Day Street right here. All a reminder of after dark last night how a 16-year-old was shot right here. Witnesses there said to News 8 that he had died. Uh, police will not confirm that for us yet this morning, but here's what we do know. Witnesses told the New Haven Register that this 16-year-old was being chased running down the street. Whoever was chasing him then started shooting at him. This was at about 9.15 last night at the corner of George and Day in New Haven. Many shots rang out. Several of them, witnesses said anywhere from six to a dozen shots. One bullet did go through the window of the deli right there. The 16-year-old ended up in a pool of blood in the middle of Day Street. He was taken to St. Raphael's Hospital, which is just a couple of blocks away from here. There, some sort of altercation broke out because police were called to St. Raphael's last night, according to the New Haven Register, to quell whatever disturbance was going on involving people from the neighborhood or people who knew the victim. Regardless, no arrests that we know of from that, and police will not confirm for us this morning that this 16-year-old had, had passed away, but witnesses did say that last night, that the 16-year-old the did die from a gunshot wound to the neck, suffered right here at the corner of George and Day. The investigation continues for now. We're live in New Haven. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.